Hey friends, Ash here with Gent Sense, and today I'm going to be unboxing and checking out two fragrances. So giving you guys some first impressions. First off, this one right here, the big one, Versace Eros Eau de Parfum. Obviously the flanker, or the newest flanker in the Eros line. And then Solo Loive Origami. I'm going to check this one out as well. Now this one was on a haul video back a while ago. I feel like I filmed that video three weeks ago maybe. Something like that. I think it came out a little bit sooner than that from when I'm shooting this now, but whatever. Let's not get too caught up in that. So I, I featured this, but I still haven't unboxed it. So I'll go ahead and check that one out as well. Let's not waste too much time. Let's jump into this. All right, first off, let's check this one out. Aerosol de Parfum. I actually had this for a little while now. I ordered this when this first came out on the uh, Macy's website. Don't have any Macy's locally. And then just had it shipped to me and haven't gotten around to opening it. Too busy with everything else going on. And the badge code, in case you're interested, watching this in the future, LU2004, that's it. Now, I know a lot of people are really hyped about this one, fans of the original Eros or Eros Flame. You know, those are big compliment pulling fragrances and it's one of the reasons people love the Eros line so much. I have gone out of my way not to watch any reviews or read any reviews on this because I don't want my initial impression to be swayed one way or the other. Let's really quickly take a look at this presentation. Okay guys, presentation. You've got here the name of the house, name of the fragrance, size and concentration right there on the front. The difference with this one obviously going to be this design around the edge of the box. It says Versace on the top, nothing on the sides. Got the ingredients right here on the back and the batch code barcode on the bottom. And here is your bottle. Obviously very similar to the original Eau de Toilette, only this one says Eau de Parfum on the bottom. You have the Medusa on top of the cap and also on the inside of the cap. So when you look down in there, there's a little Medusa, probably doesn't come across on camera, but it's down in there. And then on the bottom of your sticker, your batch code. All right, let's spray this one on and see if it's an improvement. When I first sprayed this on, I got this little, little bit of dustiness slash powderiness in just the first blast, but that's kind of dying away a little bit, not as prominent now. You do get that candied apple in the top, along with mint, a sweet mint. And it does remind me of the original Eros, though maybe this one slightly more, maybe slightly more depth to it off the top. Redundant if you already own the Eau de Toilette, based off of the opening, kind of. Uh, I think though, if you're a fan of the Eros line, you're probably gonna wanna pick it up anyway. Little touch of citrus in here as well, but more apple for me. And if I had to guess, that sort of dusty-ish kind of vibe that I initially got off the opening is probably from the geranium in the mid, if I had to guess. Definitely appealing, super appealing, actually. This, like the Eros's that have come before it, would also be a big compliment puller. Let's open this one up and let that one keep drying down, and I will go back to this one after I check this one out. All right, let's check out this presentation. I actually like it. It's got this nice paper box pulls out like so, and your fragrance sits down inside here, and it's got a little foam cutout for the bottle. You have the name of the fragrance, the size and concentration, all that stuff right here on the front. You've got the logo on top. On the back, it just says, the harmony of extremes. Then you have the ingredients right there on the spine of the box. Badge code right here, 085814. And here you have the bottle. I think it looks really nice. You have these little shapes all around the, uh, the cap and on the nameplate here, looks like folded paper. That's what they're going for. Again, name of the fragrance origami. And your badge code is actually here and it's etched into the glass uh, alongside the bottom. It's pretty hard to see. Let's go ahead and spray this one on. That's got a little bit of an old school feel to it for me. It's got this freshness off the top the lemon in the opening is coming across like it does in classic mint fragrances. And I'm talking about from decades past. And then it's these herbal facets in the opening, these fresh herbal facets that give it this kind of fresh green feeling that reminds me 
of classic men's fragrances. I like this a lot, but I have to tell you guys, if you're not a fan of that more classic, gentlemanly, old school, uh, cologne style of fragrance, you may not like it. This is though just the opening. So as this dries down, it could change a lot. I'm just saying the opening reminds me of some of those more classic scents. And actually it's not been on my skin that long at all, but it has started to kind of change and veer into a different direction. So when I first sprayed this one on, I got a good amount of lemon, not like a cleaning product lemon, but again, like something that you would find in um, Mustache Eau de Toilette to an extent, or Dior Eau Sauvage or something like that. But then pretty quickly, it started to sweeten up. So there were these green herbal facets, rosemary, basil, and I picked those up with the lemon right away. That's what gave me that old school throwback vibe. But now it's starting to go sweeter uh, by a pretty good uh, amount actually. So it opened up with this classic, clean, fresh, slightly herbal green opening, and now it's going sweet, sweet, sweet. I still like this. It still does retain some of that, that vibe from the initial opening, but it is just going slightly sweeter. Uh, this is a really good kind of dumb reach smelling fragrance, a nice office fragrance, casual fragrance, daytime kind of scent, spring, summer, maybe fall, but more spring, summer. At least that's how it smells initially. Good though. Back to Eros. Eau de Parfum, let's check it out. This is like a slightly more grown up Eros. That's how it's coming across to me. A little bit richer, a little bit more depth to it maybe. The sweetness is still there, but maybe reined in just a little bit. It's still there though. It's definitely not missing. So with this one, if you're a fan of the original Eau de Toilette, if you're a fan of Eros Flame, I think it's not really a stretch to say you're gonna like this one a lot. If the original Eros Eau de Toilette was maybe too heavy on that syrupy sweetness that it has going on at times, if it was maybe a little too loud, not that this one is not projecting because it definitely is, but if the original Eau de Toilette came across too youthful, too in your face, but you liked the overall DNA that it had going on, this could be your ticket right here. Now it still does have those facets that younger guys are going to really like and be drawn to. But like I said, I think maybe it's slightly more grown up owing to some of the notes that they put in here and some of the things that they've reined in, toned down a little bit. So this still has vanilla, still has mint, still has actually candied apple and ambroxan. So that's all still here. So if you didn't like those facets from the original, you're out of luck. But now we've got some sandalwood in here, leather in the base as well. And that I think is what's kind of pushing this slightly in that new direction that I talked about. So initial impressions here of Aerosol Parfum, I do like it, but I'm gonna give it more wear and give a full review, let you guys know kind of how it grew on me. Whether it's one that the more I wore it, the more I liked it, or the more I wore it, the less I liked it, and also give you a proper breakdown, including the dry down and all that stuff. All right, this one right here, Origami. Let's check this one out and wrap this up. It's got a little bit of a soapiness to it now, like a fresh herbal green soapiness. A little pop in there as well, a little zinginess. Pleasantly surprised by this. Yeah, this one, really wearable. Not super youthful. I mean, if you were younger, you could still wear it, but I think people 25 and up probably gonna like this one more. I like that coloration too. Pretty cool, pretty nice, nice green color. Kind of gets across the vibe of the fragrance pretty well. I look like the Phantom of the Opera right now. Smelling the fragrance, look like I have issues. I imagine that's how a lot of uh, fragrance people look, like walking down the street and you've sprayed on a fragrance right here or something, and you're just kind of like going about your business, maybe you're shopping or something, every once in a while you're like, <laughs> like that, people see you, all right, what's that dude doing? That's how I look when I go into stores or anywhere, even restaurants, and I'm contrasting and comparing fragrances, like if I have two or three of them on, I'm just constantly. This is really nice though. Fresh, sort of modern, clean, woodsy bass that everything is playing off of here. 
Not anything hyper unique, but really pleasant. That's basically what it is. And Eros, this one really, really getting warmer. That vanilla is starting to pop. That warm sort of almost creamy vanilla coming through here. Creamy mixed with dry vanilla. It's good, it's good. This is gonna be a big compliment puller. And this fall and this winter, lots of guys are gonna be spraying this on and then inviting uh, lady friends over. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for me. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna be wearing this more. I'll do a review on it. And you probably did not see this, but throughout this whole video, I have been terrorized by a yellow jacket who is a big fan of these fragrances, obviously, because he, he keeps visiting me. And by visiting me, I mean uh, trying to brutally attack me. But to be fair, it is only like this big, but still. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me today. Thanks for all your support. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Stay safe out there.